While the specification of AMC always showed its top speed to be around 1.8 Mach, the group director of AMCA program has now confirmed for the first time, that the AMCA Mark II will have a top speed of 2.15 Mach and a combat range of 1,620 km, which will make the AMCA the fastest 5.5 generation fighter jet in the world. The AMCA Mark I will be 70% indigenous, while the AMCA Mark II will be 90% indigenous, and only the Martin Baker ejection seat will be the major imported component in the Mark II variant. The first AMCA will be rolled out in 2026, that will be followed by four more AMCA technology demonstrators that will cost 900 crore rupees each, and the prices will fall when the AMCA will enter full-scale production. After the handover of first X Air India Airbus A319 aircraft to the Indian Air Force, five more Airbus A319 aircraft have received major maintenance, and are currently based at the Hinden Air Force Station. The aircraft will soon be ferried to France, where it will undergo structural modifications, and will get an additional auxiliary power unit to power the radar system. Airbus will deliver the first aircraft in the next two years, after which the DRDO will start equipping it with primary long-range multi-mode radar and sensors in India, and convert it into the Netra Mark II airborne early warning and control system. During the bilateral visit by the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the two sides discussed working together on combat aircraft design, marine engine for powering next-generation warships, and jet engine technology, and UK has assured that the highest level of access to technology will be given to the Indian industry in coming days. British firm BAE Systems have also made a pitch for its companies to partner with India on the AMCA project, and a joint statement after the talks made special reference to sharing of jet engine advanced core technology for the AMCA. The UK is also working on creating an India-specific open general export license, under which there would be reduced bureaucracy and lower delivery times for defence procurement. In a significant development, India's Rustam 2 medium-altitude long-endurance UAV has made the first external pilot-assisted night landing demonstration. Hindustan Aeronautics will soon start the production of five units for user evaluation trials by the three services, and after its completion, the Indian Army will order 60 units, 12 units by the Air Force and four units by the Indian Navy. Private sector firm MKU Limited has announced that it has collaborated with the DRDO to launch the Netro TD5100 driver night sites for T-series tanks of the Indian Army. It combines the power of uncooled thermal sensors and the optics, to deliver instant visibility in pitch dark conditions, and also enhances the detection range of enemy tanks maneuvering at faster speeds. The Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy have tied up with the DRDO to get the chaff technology, that protects fighter jets and naval ships from modern-day radar-guided missiles of the enemy. After successful user trials, the Indian Navy has inducted all the three variants, short-range, medium-range and long-range chaff rocket, while the Air Force has inducted the advanced chaff cartridge 118 for fighter jets. Thank <laughs> you.